Hello Floss Tube, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my quilting and cross stitching series here on my YouTube channel. For my returning subscribers, welcome back. And to all my new subscribers, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. This is, as I mentioned, where I talk about my cross stitch and sometimes quilting, although it's been a little while since I've shared quilting. Uh, it also has been a couple weeks. I had every intention of filming last week. I had my outline all ready to go, and it's just been a very long couple of weeks for me. So I apologize that this is, uh, that I skipped a week, <laughs> but I am back. I have some whips to share. I have a little bit of Q&A. I've got uh, like a lot of sal progress and things like that to share with you guys. I have quite a lot of haul to share with you. And of course, we have some giveaways and winners. And um, I my new little segment in my series, some free charts, I've also compiled a few of those to share. So I am going to probably jump right on in. I will say uh, since I've been here <laughs> last that my oldest son celebrated his 24th birthday. So happy birthday to Brendan. I can't believe it's been 24 years. So anyway, we, we did a big family celebration for him. Something fun we do in our family is I let them decide um, what is your favorite meal? I will either cook it or we can go out to eat. And they always choose to have me make something that's their favorite, which is very nice. Also, it's a lot of work. <laughs> Sometimes I would just as soon uh, go out to eat, but it was lovely and he was so appreciative. So he picked his favorite meal. I make this uh, dish. I think it's from the Pioneer Woman, but I've been making it for years and it is always what he requests always every single year it's called pancetta with leeks and then i use some or i put pasta in with it of course and so i use the bow tie pasta in it it is very very good but he chose that then he asked for green beans and i did make fresh green beans with um garlic and, and um bacon bits fresh bacon bits uh chopped up bacon bits sorry and then he wanted chocolate sheet cake and homemade ice cream, which I also made. So it was very nice. And we all got together. We all came over. And that was really fun. Let's see what else have we done in the last couple weeks. I got a. You guys have seen the puppy, I think. I mean, I've shown him several places. That's probably why I'm tired. Um, but he is doing great. He's doing much better. He's still not a good kennel dweller but crate dweller, I guess, but he's doing really good. The potty training is going great. Um, he's super sweet. He and Odin are buddies, which is what I wanted. He's still, he's trying to make Brody, the old man dog, be his buddy. And he's just not getting it that Brody does not want to be his friend. <laughs> so that's funny. Um, yeah. And then I taught two classes for card making. Um, yesterday on Saturday. So there was a lot of prep for that and a lot of different things for that. And um, I've just had a lot going on for work lately. So and also I had to have a whole bunch of stuff due for another class I'm teaching in April. That was all due last week. And so there was a quite a lot of, you know, writing instructions and uh, photographing the well, creating the project, photographing the project, all that good stuff. So I have just been I've just been worn out. <laughs> That's all I could say. I didn't even stitch that much. I'm kind of sad about it. Um, but I've been stitching a little bit more the last few days. I'm feeling a little bit happier about that. I started uh, filming the, the assembly and the tutorial for finishing more chocolate bunnies. Um, and you know, it's all good. So let's go ahead and jump in because I know I have a lot to share and I don't want this video to be so terrible long. Um, let's see. First thing, oh, I do want to mention to everybody about the Facebook group, my personal private Facebook group for cross stitching and stitching and quilting, sharing any of those kinds of things. If you, um, ask to join that group and there is a link in the description below, please make sure you answer the questions and that you agree to the group rules and please read the group rules before you, uh, hit you agree just to make sure because there are um, some things in there that 
I notice new members kind of break those rules, break the rules. I mean, I'm not super strict, but um, quite a bit. So I'm afraid they aren't read. So just check those out, please. Um, they're pretty standard, most of them for all groups. And with that, Q&A. So I had multiple questions about what SAL and FFO mean. I know I've covered them in many videos, but if you haven't seen it, SAL stands for stitch along and FFO stands for fully finished object or finally finished object, meaning it's a piece that you have just completely finished. Mom of five JRTS, when stitching with two threads, I sometimes find that one strand of my tails ends up being longer than the other thread. Is this normal? I drop or hang my needle to detangle and will at times do a couple of railroad stitches. Am I doing something wrong? Not that I'm aware of. <laughs> sometimes that I, a lot of times one of my strands will be shorter than the other two and I've never really thought about it a whole lot. I usually just will snip it and trim them up so that they're even. I'm sure it has something to do with how you twist your thread, but I don't know what it is and I wouldn't consider it wrong. Maureen, could you tell me which floss tube it was that you demonstrated pulling DMC floss on pudding, pardon me, <laughs> DMC floss on the floss drops? It's floss tube 30 and I will have a link down below for you in case you want to check that out again. What needles do I use? I did not Right, who asked that question? If I'm not mistaken, I had that question multiple times. And I am currently, so I was using Bowen, either 26 or 28. 26 if I'm doing 14 or 28 count. I tend to use tw the size 28 needles for 32, 36, anything like that. Um, I'm using Edmar needles right now. I still have some of the Bowen needles and I like either one. Really liking the Edmar needles and especially size 28. I don't know that I'm stitching anything right at the moment where I would use 26, but I have both and I like them a lot. Links to those down in the description as well. No FFOs. I still have an entire huge stack of stitching that needs to be finished, but so far I have not got to that. I will when I will. I'll get to it when I get to it is kind of my philosophy because, um, like I said, there's just been a lot going on. And I know, here's the thing. Life has phases and seasons have phases and things always end up smoothing out. You have more time sometimes than you have at other times. And I just go with the flow. Uh, for the most part. My friend will laugh if she's watching this because I called her to let her know that I had a complete meltdown the other day, like a horrible meltdown, but we won't talk about it. <laughs> I'm good now. I had a good cry and I'm all better. I don't know about you guys, but when I'm, yeah, of course, when you're upset, you cry. But when I'm mad that I cry and I was mad and I, I did, I cried, but it's all good now. So between the last floss tube, and actually, if I had filmed this last week, I finished in a couple days a stitch. So I had a start and finish. I did Cherry Hill Stitchery Hope. And if you guys are part of the Facebook group, you know that this was one of the options when I did a poll about what we should do for our springtime sal. And I said, when more chocolate bunnies won. I said I was still going to stitch this and do a finishing tutorial, which I am. It will go up um, either right before or right after the finishing tutorial for more chocolate bunnies. It will be a pillow tutorial. It's going to show you how um, I add polyester fiber fill and poly pellets to make a more uh, bean baggy feeling type of pillow finish. And I'm just going to share all kinds of things. Uh, in that video tutorial, so stay tuned for that. But this is what I stitched. I stitched it on 37 count Russian tea cake by Legacy, which I absolutely love, using one strand over two. So it's super teeny tiny and cute. 
and that is my finished. I used all the called for floss. I absolutely love it. I absolutely love this Russian tea cake. Um, and so very, very fun. So that is the my first one. And here was all that floss that I used. So pretty. So we are going to go ahead... We're going to go ahead and just put that in the uh, stack of finishes. We're going to go ahead and file that floss away too. <laughs> so that was my start and finish. Sal's. I think all of my stitching has been Sal's. So I'm going to do Sal's and then I'm going to do some I may not have started, but everything is kitted up and it will be starts this week. So let's go ahead and just start with whatever bag is on. Okay, no, we're not going to start with whatever bag is on top. We're going to start in, in a somewhat order. So first up we have Mad for Plaid. I'm still behind you guys. So Mad for Plaid, we're stitching spring. This is a stitch along that Chantal of 141 Design is hosting. Uh, she has the wonderful finishing boards for that. The hashtag is 141 Mad for Plaid Sal. I'm stitching mine on 32 count charcoal gray Lugana using the called for Cosmo floss. And I've finished the second row. I finished the baskets, which I really love. And then I just have the spring and the birds. So I hope I'll get back to, um, I'd like to get the spring finished so I can get it put up when I put up my decorations. But I don't even know if I should admit this here, you guys. My, my upstairs, there's no Christmas. It is March 5th. Yeah. My basement's still fully decorated for Christmas. I mean, at this point, do I leave it? <laughs> I'm not going to. But you guys, I decorated the upstairs for Valentine's Day. So the Valentine's needs to come down and spring needs to go up. But I promised myself there would be no decorating at all until I get Christmas down. It's been a really, it's been a kind of a long, rough start to the year. It's okay. Like I said, seasons, it'll be, I'll be good. It, all right, let's do more chocolate bunnies next. Oh my goodness. So before I do the stitch with me tomorrow, I will have most of this stitched. I'm almost done anyway, uh, so that I can finish during the live. Here's the more chocolate bunnies chart so that I can finish during the live. And then I had requests to show how I iron my finished cross stitch piece. So I'm gonna show you that as well as sewing on buttons. Please ignore how it's folded up. I was doing a test for the Chantal 141 finishing board. You can see that I'm working on the carrots. That's all I have left. I absolutely love this stitch. I'm super excited to get it on the finishing board. And um, I need to get my Christmas decorations down, right? So I can get my Easter stuff up. But that is more chocolate bunnies. I mean, you guys, it's so cute. I need to start the um, hop on in the, the kind of sister piece to this I'll show you the cover I haven't started yet I'm going to stitch it on that charcoal gray Lugana that mad for plaid is on it uses the same sulky floss oh I'm stitching with sulky one strand over two but because it uses the sulky I would really like to use it and a lot of people have been stitching this I've seen you guys it looks amazing so I'm hoping to maybe even get a little start on that today everyone says it's a super quick stitch so and again thank you to Kathy for mentioning that it this was a, a coordinating or complimentary I guess design she did make that a PDF so if you want to purchase the PDF version you can do that thank you so much Kathy all right next um, 
Jessica, the Sweetwater Stitcher, and I are co-hosting a kind of informal sal. So I know I've had some questions about this because a lot of people were like, there's no PDF. You said you pick charts with PDFs. I do. When I am doing my organized sal, I've mentioned several times why I do that. I have quite a few international followers and it's easier for them if I choose something that has a PDF. Some designers do not do PDFs. And at times I, I will probably do sals like I'm doing here, um, co-host a sal or maybe even do one, you know, just me, where there won't be um, a PDF handout. But it won't be my my very organized sales with Stitch With Me's and, and the giveaways and all of the, you know, the uh, the very the organized. This is more of an informal sal. I am stitching this during this month. I'm kind of it's informal, so I don't have it set like weekly goals or anything like that. I would like to have it stitched by March 31st. So this is the rabbit and the rose. And again, the sweet Jessica, the Sweetwater Stitcher and I are co-hosting this. This is a chart by Brenda Gervais of With Thy Needle and Thread. And I do have a nice start on this. I would have a lot more stitched. So yesterday was hard. Yesterday was really hard. I did not get very much sleep. I taught two classes. They were each 90 minutes long. Plus there were some other things and I, I watched some of the other classes from the other instructors. But And then of course all the prep and the cleanup of my room and everything to get ready for live classes. The dog wouldn't sleep in his crate. He cried all night. And then my smoke detector decided to start chirping at two in the morning and that's when I lost my temper. And um, I knew better. I, I even took a little nap yesterday after my classes. Oh, and I test drove vehicles, you guys. And I made the appointment. I couldn't. My ex-husband actually used to sell cars and he does work at a dealership now. And it's very nice of him to do that for me. But he brought me the vehicle and he was nice. He said, you know, hey, I don't have to do this today or whatever, but I really felt bad because he had made the effort to uh, organize all of it to, and to bring me a couple of different vehicles. And so um, I went ahead and did that, but I was so tired. So I fell asleep from like 5.30 to 7.30. I missed my grocery pickup window from six to seven because I fell asleep. Um, but anyway, so when I woke up, I thought, well, good, I can stitch now. No, I can't stitch now. I'm telling you this because it's funny. It's funny now, <laughs> but I stitched the bunny's head, the chocolate bunny's head right here. I was lining it up with this green stem instead of this green one. You guys, I had to rip the whole thing out, but I will tell you that I, I didn't, I stitched it again this morning. It was my morning stitch, but I will tell you that I ripped it out while watching a show with my son, which was really good. And it was actually the perfect way to kind of wrap up what had been a hard day and it was lovely him sitting on the couch with me and the dogs and we just we had a nice time we visited about the show so anyway this is my progress on the rabbit and the rose and again this is the chart and this is stitched on 37 count russian tea cake by legacy using one strand over two and I'm using the called for DMC look at that oh it's all tangled super pretty colors and then the bunny tail will be this whisper floss so that is the rabbit in the rose I'm loving it loving 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 it all right Oh, I forgot something. One moment. Okay, that was all that I've actually stitched on. I do have a couple other things that I'm going to be working on this week because they're kitted up. And I want to mention it because I, I think I've mentioned it but I haven't shown it in a couple of weeks. The Bountiful Stitch Along from Fat Quarter Shop has started. They did release the first part of the chart, which is the border early because they reached their fundraising goal. Remember, it is a fundraiser for Make-A-Wish. I am stitching mine on, gosh, you guys, 
Do I even remember what I'm stitching it on? 36 count milk and honey by Fox and Rabbit, I believe. I hope that's right, but it is milk and honey. And I am using my own color conversion. So here are the colors. Um, I did have a request asking for the exact breakdown or like conversion. So I will get that done and listed this week. But I will stitch up my border here um, this week and get started on that. Please remember, I am not stitching mine exactly like theirs. So um, I did want to kind of reiterate that. And as we get to more of the chart release, the only part of the chart release right now is the border. I will um, show you guys how I'm going to change it up. The other thing, and I would have started this, but I was waiting on my fabric order and it took forever. I'm not going to mention where I ordered it from. It wasn't Fat Quarter Shop. I was really kind of mad about how long it took to come. Anyway, mad's probably not the right word. Irritated because I was going to start. But maybe it's okay. It's not like I was... Uh, doing great in the, the, the stitching department. Okay, so this is the hands-on design mend block party pattern. I've never made one of these, but I love them so much that I ordered several. But I am going to stitch this. This is part of a stitch along that Jessica the Sweetwater Stitcher is hosting as part of her one year Flossiversary on, here on Floss Tube. Um, it is hashtag mend block party sell. Uh, definitely follow that hashtag if you want to see everybody's progress. And I am choosing to stitch mine on 28 count um, touch of blue linen. So you can see that it's stitched on blue. Uh, the instructions give you the, you probably can stitch it on what you want. However, it's going to change the size. And because this is a 3D, it's a block, I wanted to stitch it in 28. I think this will be beautiful. I did pick all of the, the called for floss for this. So here's what it's going to look like. And I am going to get started on that here um, either today or tomorrow. Really, really excited about that. So very fun. Thank you, Jessica, for hosting that. And that is it as far as sals or whips. And not even really whips. All right. My next section is kitted up projects and these are things I'm probably not starting like right this second but I hope to start them one of these days kind of mixed in um, with whips I am sitting down today and I am going to go back to my little calendar which I have neglected and really put in gra like grab a whip I'd like to I'm gonna start small I know myself I don't want to overwhelm myself and then fail I'm going to look at my whips, pick a whip, and I am going to touch it at least a couple times this week and see what I, I already know one, which I probably, that's probably the one I'll add. It's close to a finish. So I'm just going to start doing that so that I am touching my whips every week because I've really gotten away with all these different cells, which is fine. I love doing them, but I, now that my cell is wrapping up and it, I mean, Tomorrow will be the last stitch with me. In fact, I do have a link for that last stitch with me. But um, once that's done and I film the tutorial, that's going to be edited and everything. I want to really concentrate now this week going forward on getting some of my whips and working on those as well as organizing for the next sal that I will host because I do love doing it and it's really, really fun. So... I want to get back to making some things for my office 
and one of those is I know I showed this a while back it's the tomato tomato by hands-on design and I love that tomato I want to make it really really bad and I'm gonna make the tray too because it's cute and I know that neither one of them require that much <laughs> So I picked up my the linens for the project. It is 32 count gray by weeks and 32 count Aztec red by weeks. I am just using, those are called for. And then um, I got, I have all my called for floss. Doesn't take a whole lot, but I want to get on doing that. Now there is a finishing kit for, with the little strawberry uh, felt everything you need for like the tray that isn't the linen. I did purchase that a long time ago. I know I shared it in an old floss tube when I got everything. It's in a drawer somewhere. I'm not keeping it in my project bag. That's just for my cross stitching. But when I'm done, um, I'll talk about it. I did look, they are temporarily out of stock of the finishing kit, but uh, I will put the link to that below. So maybe you can contact her and see I, I think it said even on our homepage they're restocking it. So um, stay tuned for that. And then the other two product, projects that I kitted up are more block party. And that is because, let's do this one first. I, I love them. And I think they'll stitch up pretty quick. And I think they're really, really fun. So I when I was buying all of the supplies for the mend and for the tomato tomato, I thought I'm just going to go ahead and kit these up. So this is the hands-on design block party snow. And you guys already know I love snowmen. I probably won't start this one until I get some of my other snowman projects done. But I have it all kitted up. I did buy some 28 count cobalt fiber on a whim. I love that. I think it'll be super pretty. Here are all the called for overdides. And so that is a project that I have all kitted up and ready to go for, I, I do, I have to finish a whip to start that. That's kind of my rule. <laughs> it's my self-imposed rule. <laughs> And then, of course, this this one will probably be stitched before. So this will be one that gets started before those because it's going to be part of my bee stitching, which I know a lot of you are stitching hive rules. I know that's a stitch along right now. I already have mine done. Uh, I am going to add this. I have a whole section of bee stuff that I still want to stitch from Primrose and other, but I added the hands-on design buzz block party. I mean, you guys, how cute is that? And I already had in my stash some 28 count chalkboard black linen. I like the chalkboard black a little bit better than black black. So that's, that's what I'm going to use. I do not love Witchell linen. But you noticed I have some. I do think because it's stiff. But I do think it's going to hold its shape really, really well. In fact, I'm a little worried about the fiber on a whim. But I think it'll be fine. But I think it will work really, really good for the block party. So I had it in my stash. And then, of course, we have the beautiful colors, the overdyed floss for that buzz. So, more bee, give me all of the bees. All right, those were my kitted up projects that I worked on. The next section free charts. So um, I have heard from you guys. You guys liked that I shared some free charts. So I'm going to share more free charts with you. Hopefully each floss tube, but if I don't, you know, at least every couple of floss tube episodes or so. So first up, just released Silver Creek Samplers. You can go to her website and get the Lucky You. This is her March free pattern. Absolutely awesome. So, so cute. I did put a link down in the description. I know February is over. This is actually one I had printed off and I forgot to share with you guys multiple times. But I had found it on Pinterest, but you, I think I've mentioned here, I'm always a little leery of Pinterest because sometimes the things that say free are not actually free. So I had to go research it right direct from the website and I did find it for free. It's from October House Fiber Arts um, and it is the You Are Loved. It is beautiful. I did already buy the floss for this. 
Um, hopefully I can just, this wouldn't be a big, a very big stitch or very time consuming stitch is what I should say. But I did buy everything, the floss colors and kit it all up because I want to just stitch this. I think it will be beautiful to add to the Valentine stitching. The Valentine's freebies were amazing. This is from 2018, but I have a link directly to her website for this one. So I will, that will be listed down below. And then on Fat Quarter Shop, they actually had a cup, they have some freebies from designers. So uh, the little house ornament that I did from Heart and Hand that Cecilia did for Fat Quarter Shop, Fat Quarter Shop has that listed on their site. And I went to look and they actually have some other designers. So you can download them right from Fat Quarter Shop, but one of them is Cherry Hill Stitchery Happy Easter. So going into Easter, I thought that would be really fun to share with you. There is a color chart for the freebie and the black and white, just like Cherry Hill Stitchery always does. And so that is linked down below. Really cute. Even if you just wanted to stitch like the little A, like if you do a little Easter tree and you want to just make ornaments and kind of divvy those up, would be super, super cute. Make several different ornaments. So there is one. Another one from Fat Quarter Shop that's free. This is one of their designs. It is the little Easter. It's a little bunny face. So cute. And then Shannon Christine has a freebie that is listed on Fat Quarter Shop. It's this darling little bunny in a truck. So um, links to all of those are down below. If you are looking for some fun Easter freebies, I hope that inspires you. Or the... Uh, St. Patrick's Day freebie from Silver Creek Samplers. All right, let's talk Stitchy Retreat. Between the last time you saw me and now last Friday, Chantal's of 141 Design, her Stitchy Retreat for September went live. And spots are selling like hotcakes. I purchased mine right away. I got my hotel room and all of that good stuff. So if you're going, I'll see you there. Uh, I wanted to let you guys know it is September 8th, 9th, and 10th. Kathy of Hands On Design is the special guest designer. Um, and there is a link. Chantal has a website for purchasing the registration. It is not in her Etsy shop. So she has a website and that website will be ever evolving. She is, I shouldn't say moving her shop to a website because I believe she told me she will still have the Etsy shop, but she is going to have a website where you can purchase directly from her. So very, very exciting. So excited for her. I I've talked to her a little bit and just like the behind the scenes, it sounds like things are coming along beautifully. I'm so excited to go. It will be my first retreat. So um, if you're going, say hello. I am so excited to go. I'm so excited to see you there um, and all of that good stuff. So along the same vein as Chantal, let's talk the backing board for our More Chocolate Bunnies Sal. I know... Um, it's finalized. I got it. I finalized it. But in between, well, not in between. I did all that. And then um, Mar Nashville Market has been going on these last few days. And she went and then she's going on vacation. And in the interim, some stuff has gone on with the shop. And it's not letting her add the board to the shop right now. It is finalized. She's working on it. She called me a couple times. As soon as she has that, is able to put that up in the shop, I will get that information to you. Please be patient. I have not, I know a lot of you are finished and you're eager to get to finishing. Um, and I understand that, but she, it's, it's her top priority, but she also deserves a vacation too. And it's not, it's just kind of a whole lot of things converging all at one time. And it will still be available 
before our sal is completely finished. So we basically, I know, like I said, a lot of you are done, but we have another week of stitching. And then that next week I will share the tutorial. So it will get listed in there pretty soon. If you follow me on Facebook, definitely check back. I will post soon. She had meant to have it up and just a little a little comedy of error. Sometimes those things happen on the back end. Please just have grace and patience. Um, it is coming. It is approved. I did. I, I I glued mine together, and I'm. It's nice out today, but it's windy. I'm kind of waiting to see if it. Um, the wind dies down a little bit so that I can paint, <laughs> um, because I am starting the filming process for the tutorial. So please know that it's coming. And my, the giveaways that I'm offering are coming sooner. So I know a couple of you, well, one, one person has already won and I will pick another winner for the other giveaway. They will be like top of the, of the list to get to me right away so that I can get those to you. Thank you, everybody. Oh, and speaking of that, uh, one of my winners for the hands-on design gift certificate in my Facebook group for the More Chocolate Bunny Sal emailed me, but the other winner didn't. So definitely check that thread. I can't remember who the winner is off the top of my head. There will be a roundup post when we're all done. Um, and I may post about that again today, actually in the Facebook group, because it's a really nice gift. So thank you, Kathy, because she donated those. All right, Paul. Um, for someone who didn't stitch a whole lot, I have a lot of haul. And I requested quite a few market things from my LNS, which is Local Needle Workshop, before anyone asks. <laughs> uh, and they're having a market party Tuesday that Lori, my friend Lori and I are going to. So I'm sure I'm going to have lots of great things to show you next week. And my LNS does ship. I know several of you have used them and you guys Thank you. Thank you for, um, if you can't find things locally or at online shops, thank you for, for um, giving your business to them. They are absolutely so grateful and they're a lovely, lovely shop. I have mentioned this store before. They have an Etsy, she has an Etsy shop and she has like a, her own website. I think it's all kind of the same. I don't really know how that works to be honest, but I love her pins. This is the Cherry Chick Biz, I think it's called Decorative Sewing Pins on Etsy. I have links. So, yes, these are my patriotic pins. I did Valentine's, my little Valentine's Primrose Cottage pillows, and I added the Valentine's ones, and I just, just to get ready, because you guys know, I'll show you the pattern why I got some of these, uh, but I bought those, because that stitching is coming, Oh, she did. I think she just sent me these for free, which I love. So pretty. These are my color. So I'm excited. I'm going to stick them in something, I think, in here in my craft room. Here are the other patriotic pins I got. Her pins are gorgeous. I highly, highly recommend checking her out. Um, I love everything she has in her shop. And then I know it's not Christmas, but she had these and I thought, you know what? I need them. So I have them now for finishing. Oh yeah, she says this. She even wrote me a note. How did I not see that? She's so sweet. Um, I absolutely love her shop. Please, oops, sorry, I just bounced my computer. Please give her some business because her pins are beautiful. <laughs> really, really pretty. Okay. She doesn't just have pins, you guys. She has lots of cute things. I am working on some sewing cases, but obviously I haven't got to them in a while. But I wanna do zipper pulls. And she has these little carrot, these are just attached, they're two separate zipper pulls. Carrot zipper pulls. Let me show you the, those were the big. Look at these little teeny tiny ones. Look at my band-aid, that's nice. During my temper tantrum the other night, I broke my nail. Mm -hmm. My fault. And bunnies, I'm all about the Easter stuff right now. And 
bumblebees. How cute are those? And again, I know we're not near Christmas, but I was ordering stuff. And so I ordered these little reindeer zipper pulls. These remind me of a product from paper crafting, but they also remind me of something I made out of fabric years ago, like years and years ago. So cute little zipper pulls, cute decorative pins. Please check her out. It is Cherry Tick Biz is the... Cherry Chick Biz, but decorative sewing pins on Etsy. And I think that's what I linked to down below. Check her out. This is not sponsored. This is just something I personally love and personally purchased. Okay. And those zipper pulls, I do wanna mention, if you make the cross stitch cases, which is what I'm trying to make, but obviously me and my sewing machine have We've been split up for a while, <laughs> uh, but I have a whole bunch of fabric cut out. That's what I bought those for because I want to make some cases for my cross stitch because if you guys saw my setup right now, you'd probably feel sorry for me, no. but I want cases so that I have something nice for all of my little, little bits and bobs for what I'm doing. So anywho, that's why I bought all those. All right. I have been waiting waiting, waiting for Emily to put this up because she posted sneak peeks as she was stitching and then said it was going to be her March 1st release. I literally, when it was March 1st, I couldn't wait. So salt and pepper stitching, sweet liberty. And that is why I bought those cute patriotic pins because I am going to make these into little pillows for a dough bowl, but they're going to need some little cute patriotic pins, right? How adorable. Um, amazing. I love her pattern. So please pick this up if you love patriotic stitching like like this girl likes patriotic stitching. I know a lot of you do. Absolutely amazing. And then I actually have had this since the last time I filmed Floss Tube and I forgot. Miss Erin Elizabeth has been bringing it with the cute chart, charts lately. This is Farm Fresh Carrots. And I want to stitch this probably not on a grayish background. I haven't decided exactly what yet. I feel like maybe something kind of dirty and mottled because I want it to look like a, a, a farm-ish sign for my Easter display. But absolutely adorable. Really cute doable sizes too. So the stitch count is 63 by 63 all DMC. Yep. And um, she just has cute things. I noticed she did a tiered tray with bumblebees and I think that's either just released or will be released soon. Uh, so many cute charts. So definitely um, check that out if you're all about the Easter stitching. And I tried to tell myself not to buy this. But these will literally take maybe an evening each. And when there was only one, I was able to resist. But then there were two, and I wasn't able to. So Cherry Hill Stitchery, Bunny Food, 25 cents. I think these will be cute kind of along the lines. I think these would be cute all kind of together a little bit. But I think these colors look a lot like the hope that I just showed you. So I this was the first one out. And then she just put out Bunnies Love Carrots. And I had to. So got both of these. These will be very, very quick stitches. Absolutely adorable. I put links to those down below as well. All right because I'm doing so well with the stitch along. My Country Cottage Needleworks Big City Christmas. Which one's this? Street scene came. I need to get on this. But yes, that came. Super excited. I'm part of the Floss Frenzy at Fat Quarter Shop. This is the week's dye works. I have Floss Fix and Floss Frenzy to add to get to my stash going. So, um, here are the colors in this month's. Absolutely gorgeous. Where should I? We'll just put them in here. Uh, 
my freezing season second month ornament came cute little snow people this is probably going to get put shoved aside i know we're supposed to do like one a month or something but literally this didn't come in february <laughs> Uh, so it may just get shoved aside because I'm afraid March is going to be coming right along. I don't think this will take very long to stitch. The first month didn't, but very cute. I'm excited about that. You would think it might be winter with, with some of the stash you're seeing. It's either patriotic Easter or winter. I don't know. I saw this in a recent floss tube from Primrose Cottage. They have some really fun charts in their shop. Uh, things that I don't always see other places and I love it. They just need to keep showing great charts in their floss tube or fabric, you know, curated fabric bundles because I order right from their uh, floss, the live. So keep doing that girls. <laughs> but I ordered this and I thought it was really kind of hard to see. In fact, I wasn't all that impressed um, until I went and looked at it until they showed it closer. This is Tra La La. And it is a little snow, it's almost like a little snow sampler, but it was too cute. So I picked this up. Um, I know the Primrose Etsy shop is on vacation because they're at market, which I'm sure it'll be off a of vacation shortly. Even maybe by the time you see this, I'm not sure when they get home, but uh, check it out because it was still available, at least from what I could see, you just can't check out while they're on vacation. But look at those little snowmen. Aren't they cute? I just love it. I've ordered several tra -la, la patterns from them. It, all from them. It's not something I see a lot of places, really, I guess. And they keep showing them, so this girl keeps buying them. Okay, I pre-ordered this months ago from Fat Quarter Shop. It's Summer Memories by Susan Aki. And yes, beautiful, of course. Okay, so I'm partial to Patriotic. If it is patriotic, I want it pretty much. Patriotic fabric, patriotic, patri patriotic cross stitch, decorations, all of it. And I've been that way for a very long time. So when I saw this coming out, I absolutely loved it. Now the quilts are stunning. But you guys, it is not just quilts. Do you see that dough bowl filled with all those little minis? There's cross stitch in here. So the first part of the book is the quilts. The second part of the book is cross stitch. Oh, here you go. Look how cute. Okay, now, now for the funny part. I accidentally pre-ordered two. So guess what? I have one for giveaway for you guys today. So it is a beautiful book, um, really well done. I, I want to make every single quilt in here. I want to show you this one. It is, let me make sure there's no, the only thing is, is this one takes a template, but I think it's stunning because it looks like a big flag. Just make sure that there's no instructions on the pages. So let me show you my favorite quilt in here. First of all, look at this. Look at those quilts. This is my dream. First of all, this is my favorite patriotic color palette, kind of the beachy patriotic. I would love to have a whole stack like that. Maybe I better start quilting again, huh? You'd think. Okay, where's my favorite quilt in here? I think that quarter shop is going to do a quilt along. For one of these. I want to say it's the basket one, but I can't remember. I think, I think this is the one that they're going to do a quilt along, if I'm not mistaken, which it's beautiful. I really like that one. Okay, I must have passed it. I really, really do love the big flag. Oh, no, it's right here. Look at that. I'm really partial to flag quilts. I just love them. Anyway, so got that. And then I don't think I've seen this out in the public yet. 
so I'm not going to unpackage it, but Fat Quarter Shop sent me the latest Stitch Quarterly, which you know you get the bag, you get the pattern, you get the everything you need plus extras. Really awesome. Um, I'm not going to give it away yet because I'd really like to kind of do a whole unboxing thing here. So hopefully it will get shown. If I know it's been shown, I'll show it to you guys next week and offer it as a giveaway. It's going to be hard not to keep it, to be honest. I probably I don't really need to add anything else, but I love it. I think it's really cute, so um, stay tuned for that. Okay, stitchy mail and then giveaway. So I have received some beautiful stitchy mail. Let's start with this one. So this actually just arrived, and um, it's a, it was a box, so I knew there was something else in it. But first, I want to show you this card. It's gorgeous. And it's bees. You guys know I love bees. So Julie, thank you for this. She sent me this gorgeous, gorgeous card. She said she heard me mention I like bees. And so she sent me something that she made to put in my bee display. Little stand and she makes these little faux cupcakes. Look at this, you guys. It looks like it looks like a real cupcake. I don't know how she makes this. Look at those bees. It is beautiful, Julie. I will tell, I'll be honest, I didn't pick up my mail yesterday and I picked it up this morning first thing and when I opened this, no, I picked it up late last night, but I didn't open anything. I had boxes and packages. I had so much. I don't know. Maybe I didn't pick it up for two days. I opened this and I started to cry. Um, it just, thank you. After a couple of rough days, this was delightful. Obviously, you don't have to send me things, but I will treasure it. I cannot wait to go get my bee stuff out and put my bees out. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Julie. Let me, um, I want to put it right back so that I can get my thank yous. It, because here's what happened. I accidentally threw away some people's packaging, like envelopes and stuff, before I could write thank yous. And I got one person's information. This this was a couple of weeks ago. And I don't want that to happen again. So let me let me move. I have to keep everything in the box till I have my thank you all written up. Okay, next. Um, Sandy sent me a darling little Valentine's card. And um because I didn't film my floss tube last week, I've had to wait to use this. We'll wash and use it. And so I'm sad. She sent me this. And you guys, when I opened this, I laughed and I was so delighted. And this is a really funny thing, but I love the shape of this mug. I like the kind of squatty round. I don't know what it is, but I love it. All aboard the struggle bus. <laughs> Because you know I've been on the struggle bus. Obviously, I just to rip out that whole bunny's head. How annoying. Anyway, Sandy, I love, love, love this. And now that I've shown it, this baby's getting washed up and used ASAP. Thank you. Okay. You know what I don't love though? Did I really not write down? Who this came from? Oh, you guys, be right back. So it wouldn't be one of my floss tubes if I had no idea who I got something from. I'm hoping I didn't throw away the package. I have a note here, but it's not signed. But I got, someone asked to send me um, they're extra more chocolate bunnies. So I am going to offer this as a giveaway. If you sent me this, can you please drop me a note? The handwriting doesn't look like the other cards and I'm wondering if I just misplaced the packaging. I'm sorry. So uh, let me know if you sent me this. I'd like to send you a thank you. This will be part of the giveaway and thank you for your sweet note, which I am going to actually put with my stuff here. And... Let me just pop this back here. I also got a sweet thank you note from Ruth. Thank you so much, Ruth, for that. That was so thoughtful of you. 
Let me stick that right there. And then Judy had some extra patterns that she wanted to share with everyone. And I'm not giving these away today, but I will give these away uh, soon if I don't keep a couple of them. I haven't decided. These are going to be awesome, you guys. Heart in Hand Quilting Bird. The Heart in Hand Coffee Bird. So cute. And then the October House Fiber Art. So remember that love, that love you um, freebie I shared, that same company. Look at this beauty. Strawberry Fair. So pretty. So um, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Judy, for sending those. And I'm putting these right back in here until I get my thank you written. <laughs> yeah. This is just the story of my life lately. All right. Thank you. That's all my stitchy mail. I do think I have some stuff at the post office. So if you sent me something and you think you didn't show it, I did not get to my post office. I'm going tomorrow and uh, it'll be shown next week. Thank you guys. So I actually have quite, no, I have a couple of outstanding, yes, a couple of outstanding giveaways from FlossTube34, Karen Pang, one one January stackables. Karen, can you email me? And if you don't want it, let me know. If you do, let me know. Uh, if I don't hear from you by next week, I will pick a new winner. And the same goes for the Fat Quarter Shop Chicken Club Cornelius. This was Heidi Buskey. And again, these were both given away or the announced in Floss Tube 34. So um, Heidi Buskey. And if I don't hear from you by next week, I will pick a new winner. All right, last week's floss tube. The hands-on design Mad for Plaid, which was donated by a viewer, is given to Colleen Isaac. And I will put your comment up here on the screen. Colleen, let me know. Email me at the email address in sporellc at gmail.com. It's listed down below. Let me know what you won. And I will pop that out in the mail to you. The Fat Quarter Shop Lady Claws goes to Brenda Johnson. Brenda, same thing. Please email me and I will pop that in the mail to you. And finally, Sweetheart Ornaments Booklet goes to Julie McMillan. Julie, let me know and I will get those mailed to you. So congratulations to all of our winners. If you've won something from me uh, and you weren't mentioned here, it's been mailed out to you. So uh, I hope you guys are all stitching and enjoying. This week, I have four giveaways for you. Please be a U.S. resident. Please subscribe and like, subscribe to my channel, like the video. Please be over 18. I do need to ask for your address. And remember to check to see if you're a winner. Um, let me see. I think that's it this week oh last week I forgot to tell you to say thank you guys for telling me what you're excited about from Nashville Nashville market two weeks ago uh, me too I loved seeing what everybody's excited for it really gave me a little bit more of an idea uh, I should mention I did get the luminous fiber arts Halloween Quaker I know I've seen a lot of people get it uh, you guys know I love Halloween stitching. I saw several of you mention that one. So I, I did request my LNS to get that one for me. So I'm sure I get, I'm going to get to get it on Tuesday. Um, and there were a lot of things that I had not heard of. So it was really, really fun to see what everybody's excited about. This week, please let me know in the comments what you're interested in. Put the number of the... Uh, giveaway you're interested in don't write giveaway don't write any of that kind of stuff um but put the number the the numeric number and answer the question how many hours do you stitch every week uh, i'm kind of interested in that my st i honestly didn't stitch a few times it's probably why i didn't get as much done as normal and it's just because i was tired or had other things to do in the evening which is my stitching time but let me know how many hours you stitch i 
on a normal week, I stitch about three to four hours a day, usually about an hour in the morning and then two to three at night. Um, so let me know. Let me know what you guys get to, how much time you get to stitch in the week. I have four giveaways. First up, I'm giving away the April Stitching with the Housewives month to month. You're going to get the chart and the floss. Uh, so put a number one in the comments if you're interested in that one. Number two, because I'm dumb, I accidentally ordered a duplicate of the hands-on design tomato tomato. So put a number two if you would like to get tomato tomato and you'd like to stitch up one as well. Super cute. And again, because I'm dumb, number three. <laughs> hey, my, my, uh, it, maybe it was on purpose. That way I could offer more giveaways. Um, number three, Summer Memories by Susan Aki. It's her brand new book just released. So put a number three in the chat and remember, even if you're not a quilter, lots of cross stitch in the back. Lots of cute cross stitch in the back. So it has both, and if you're both, score. You're like me. <laughs> and number four, thank you to the sweet viewer. Please let me know who you are who sent more chocolate bunnies. It does even come with the buttons. So if you were looking and you want to stitch it up now, there's still plenty of time to stitch it. Yes, I broke it up over several weeks, four weeks, but you guys, so many of you finished in like a week or two weeks or three. You could have this stitch before Easter. So number four. All right, everyone. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Thank you for understanding what I missed last week. Um, sometimes things happen. And thank you for your understanding and patience for the backer board for more chocolate bunnies. It will be available prior to our final finishing week. Um, she's, like I said, she called and, and said that the shop is temporarily closed uh, due to all the pre-orders and stuff. And she is going to get those out as soon as possible. She's just not home right now. Um, but as soon as she has it up, I will post in Facebook. I'll also post it on YouTube on my community page if you don't do Facebook so that if you want to get yours ordered, you can. And um, other than that, I am ex so excited to do the last stitch with me for this cell tomorrow evening at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. We'll be finishing it up. We'll be uh, adding on our buttons and kind of getting it all prepped and ready for finishing. And then I, of course, will film the finishing tutorial for that this coming week. I And then next Monday night at 7.30 p.m. Central Time, same time as the stitch with me, I will be doing a premiere, meaning I will be live in the chat during the uh, first viewing of the video and we can all chat and talk about it. You can ask me questions about the finishing and all of that good stuff. So I'm super excited. Again, I appreciate all of you spending some time with me. Thank you guys for being a part of this wonderful cross stitch community. Let me know if you're going to Chantal's retreat down in the comments. I would be, will be very excited to meet you guys in person um, and to do some stitching and learning from Kathy. So thank you guys and I will see you all next week. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, click that like button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to always be notified when I have a new floss tube stitching or quilting video. Thank you guys so much for joining me today, and we'll see you next time.